customer sent back a LRP 5800 he bought saying it's got no performance or performance drops off very quickly so I'm going to compare it to two other batteries I've discharged them on this 10 amp discharger all of them to 7.0 volts and um, that's the LRP one and I've discharged two others down to uh, 7 volts which is about 4% left uh, in the batteries so I've got three different types then I can measure the internal resistance of them when they're flat with this meter and I'll charge them up fully when we call the capacity and we measure the internal resistance and then I'll discharge them again and measure the capacity on discharge and measure them again and uh, I'll be able to tell exactly whether it's um, any good or not. So quite a bit of work, but at least most of it's automatic and just leave, um, leave it running. Well, I've done all the tests on the LiPos. Um, I've charged and discharged them and measured internal resistances. I'm just finishing off discharging this one. It's all, I'm cut off at seven volts. It's just, it's just coming down, it's, it's not even made 5,000 milliamps. I've written down some figures here. Uh, the LRP, the 6,000 and the 5,200, that one. Um, initial IRs, well the 6,000 uh, was about 1.7 milliohms. Uh, the LRP was 1.8 and the old, this demon one, which is a couple of years old, is 2.4. Um, I charged them up after, from full dis, they were fully discharged. Uh, the LRP, which is a 5.8, uh, put in 5.461. Uh, the 6000 IP only 5.115 and the demon 5.046. I then measured the IR immediately after charging them up. And uh, it's about the same, the LRP was 18179, the IP uh, seemed to go up a bit. You get a little variation on the IR test, it's very difficult to get a really good connection. Demon 1, about the same. I then discharged it to 7 volts again, it's starting off at 8.4. I measured it at 60 milliamps out, which is, which is about 60 seconds and uh, to just to see if the voltage drops if the if the pack is 40 the voltage will drop very quickly if it's got an internal problem the LRP was 828 this one was 827 that was 828 so there's nothing there I then checked them at 3500 milliamps the LRP was still holding 7.47 uh, the IP had dropped to 735 and the demon had dropped to uh, 735 as well so the LRP was holding the voltage very well total capacitance when it cut off um, it took over 40 minutes for the LRP to discharge and gave 5142 milliamps uh, this uh, this one has just finished it took 40 minutes and it only gave a 4890 milliamps uh, that was 4890 it's less because the voltage uh, has, has dropped, so the, the capacity is less. Um, and uh, the Demon 1 was 4,711. Uh, the LRP internal resistance was 1.72, so it's uh, a bit less. Demon 1 was down a bit to 2. I measured the, the temperature to 32 degrees centigrade. Uh, let's just check this one. Um, 31. So they heat up a little bit, slightly warming, but if if the battery was 40, it would get very hot. Uh, because the internal fault would heat it up, and it didn't heat up. It was the same temperature as the others. Um, I can measure the internal resistance of this one as well, but I guess it'd be the same. Um, I'm charging this one up again, but uh, there's no point. I mean, these figures show that there's nothing wrong with this battery. 
absolutely nothing at all. It doesn't show up on discharge, charge, temperature or internal resistance. So if the customer had a problem, it was because there was something else going on wrong. So it's the best I can do for him whether he agrees with me or not. Uh, testing the internal resistance of the LiPo, um, making sure that the let's just short out the the probes to make sure that it's near enough zero. If it's not zero on the probes here, well, it's about point one. Uh, so now that near enough, and then I connect across the terminals on the battery. about 1.9 and it's 0.1 out so um, it's about 1.8 uh, and if you look at the readings I had originally it was 1.8 so uh, it's still 1.8 so nothing's changed um, so there's nothing wrong with this battery 